obviously, I know you, you spent the downtime living with Marcus Stroman standing in versus him. You worked out with Pete Alonzo in Tampa as well. Um, having been able to do that, how much do you feel that you've been able to hit the ground running since getting here to, to summer camp? Yeah, I mean, like you said, you know, being able to stay around uh, with Marcus Stroman, uh, be around him, um, just being able to, you know, talk to a pitcher, pick his brain, and, and just see how he tries to attack hitter and just learn from a really good pitcher, you know, the awesome way to spend a break. And then also, you know, I was able to hit with Pete uh, three, four times a week. So the fact that I was able to, you know, get my swings in and just help the mental side of my game um, and physical side because we're able to work out, you know, I think that's a big part on why I can, you know, come here and, and uh, hit the ground running, like you said. Tom, um, how do you prepare for a season like this where, as of right now, your role is still very much unknown? You could play left field, you could be the DH, you could, you could uh, you know, come off the bench for a significant portion of the season. How do you go about prepping for something like that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, um, especially the way, you know, this season is, is laid out, it's definitely going to be a different season, um, especially, you know, it's only a 60-game season. So um, I just wanted to, like I said, come in, uh, play hard, and, and just show them what I can do and obviously put the pressure on the team to, to make the tough decisions. And um, we have the DH rule this year, which is obviously, you know, really good for our team. And I think that, you know, I'll be able to, you know, contribute in any way that I can. And I just wanted to come in and, and show them I'm ready. So, um, I'm going to continue to play hard, uh, put pressure on them, and, and uh, we'll see you know, how it goes when the season comes. I think we all saw the, uh, the interview you did with Steve, obviously emotional. You know, I'm just curious, since you've gotten here to camp, what kinds of maybe conversations, things guys have brought up to you, conversations you might have had with your teammates, just what has been kind of the general, general reaction to your experience, given all the, the social injustice issues that have been going on? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, from, from the day I got here, even before I got here, um, a bunch of guys on the team reached out and just showed their, you know, outpours, love and support, you know, for me, for, you know, for my community, you know, for the thing that I've gone through, for the thing that we've gone through. And, um, you know, I can't even, you know, put, you know, some of those things in words just, you know, from my emotional uh, side because, you know, like I said, we have guys in the front office, you know, uh, who came down and, and wants me to, you know, really – you know, stand by this and, and really help, you know, my community. And, and they're really moved. And, you know, just to see the impact that, you know, I had and uh, just the people around the world, the people out there protesting, the people who are really, you know, trying to make a change, you know, I, I'm very moved by it. And I'm happy that, you know, so many people are open to listening and open to change and want to help me change.